So an interesting question cropped up the other day, and that is why are diesel engines so much more economical than their petrol or gasoline counterparts? So we're going to look at some of the differences between diesel and gasoline engines and just highlight what the things are that give the diesel engine its advantages over and above the gasoline counterparts. <laughs> So we talk about the efficiency of an engine. So a diesel engine is generally up to around 45% efficient. So that's the amount of energy stored within the fuel that is converted into kinetic energy and power that you can usefully put down onto the road. With a gasoline engine, that figure is substantially lower at around about 35%. And even 35% in a lot of engines is really pushing the efficiency considerably. So why is there such a big discrepancy between what is essentially two engines that are just designed to burn fuel and air and operate in a fairly similar fashion. Well, you've probably noticed that your diesel engine doesn't rev as high as a gasoline engine. It's all about the flame speed. With gasoline engines, you'll be able to approach an RPM figure of around about 22,000 RPMs. So obviously quite a lot of work needs to be done in the engine. You don't buy engines nowadays that actually rev to 22,000 RPMs. But with diesel engines, that is significantly lower and generally around 7,000 RPMs is the limit. So why the big discrepancy and the big difference between these engines? And why won't the higher revving engine produce more efficiency? So in a diesel engine, the air charge is very, very highly compressed. And then just before the piston reaches the top dead center point, the fuel is injected in. Now, because diesel fuel doesn't atomize as well as petrol or gasoline would, um, in a gasoline engine, you'd pretty much have a nice mix of the air and fuel. What you have to do with diesel fuel to get it in there to burn properly is to create a mist of diesel fuel, lots of tiny particles. Now, that's partly the reason why diesels are more sooty. You don't get as efficient a burn. You need really tiny droplets of diesel. And in the fairly slow combustion process, you don't have time to burn everything off. So they have to address that by means of making modifications to the exhaust system, adding diesel particulate filters and other pollution controls to minimize the amount of those soot particles that get out of the exhaust. But just because of the nature of the way that the diesel engine works and with the advances in technology, the really fine mists, the very precise injection of fuel at the exact moment it's needed, it creates a much more efficient engine. You can get much more energy out of the fuel than you can with a gasoline engine. So thinking too about the RPMs that the engine typically operates in, on a diesel engine, you're operating at fairly low RPMs. So if you rub your hands together slowly, they do get warm. But if you rub your hands together really, really quickly, you generate a lot more heat. So there's a lot more friction that's building up inside a gasoline engine just because everything is working much harder. Another thing to bear in mind and this is probably why diesel engines last a lot longer than their gasoline counterparts, is that the diesel fuel is an oil. It will lubricate the inside of the cylinders as it goes into the cylinder, whereas gasoline tends to strip off the oil and the lubrication. So a diesel engine is generally better lubricated because the fuel actually adds to the lubrication inside the engine itself. That also leads to a further reduction in friction, and you're losing a lot less energy through those heat losses that generally happen when you have friction being caused inside an engine. So gasoline engines also control the airflow that goes into the engine with a throttle. So when the throttle is partially closed, it's effectively choking off that air supply. So that's causing a restriction in the intake, whereas a diesel engine, generally speaking, doesn't have a throttle plate. Some have obviously got throttle plates or throttle systems in place to aid with emissions and exhaust gas recirculation systems, etc. all play a part in that. But generally, a diesel engine doesn't have that same restriction on the intake. It's the amount of fuel that you add to the mix that determines how much power you get out of the engine and how the engine burns. So you might just say that because diesel engines have a higher compression ratio, it makes them more efficient. But that fact it's in itself is only really part of the equation. The higher compression ratio of a diesel engine means it has a higher expansion rate on the power stroke. So in a gasoline engine, if you compress that mixture, say 10 times, and in the burn process, it's expanding 10 times. In a diesel engine, you've got a much higher expansion ratio. So sometimes it's around 16 to 18 times that is being compressed. So you've got 16 to 18 times of the expansion stroke. So another factor is also that diesel fuel tends to contain 
gasoline more energy in itself. Now, it's interesting saying that because if you were to weigh gasoline and diesel, you would get roughly the same weight per kilojoule of energy that you would get out of it. But diesel is an oil. It's quite a thick substance, but it contains a lot of energy. So if you can burn that, obviously you're going to make more power and it's going to be more economical. So diesel engines generally have a higher thermal efficiency because they operate at such high compression ratios. They tend to be heavier than gasoline engines. So that would give a little bit of an advantage to the gasoline engine just because it's not carrying so much weight. But gasoline engine development has come a long way in recent times. They've stolen some of the technologies that have been used on diesel engines, particularly direct injection, which is now allowing gasoline engines to run much higher compression rates ratios than we imagined were possible. And the conventional Otto cycle engine is rather outdated now. In terms of economy, the Atkinson cycle engine is coming in. A lot of manufacturers, particularly of hybrids, are going to the Atkinson cycle engine, which is altering the compression stroke and the expansion stroke very, very cleverly, just allowing it to expand more, just like the diesel engine. So you get a lot more efficiency. And there's lots of other developments going on in the world of diesel and gasoline engines that are ensuring that they are ever more efficient. So just imagine going back, say, 20 years with a modern, efficient gasoline engine, and that would outperform the best diesel engines of the time. So diesel engines are more efficient than gasoline counterparts because of the way they work, the way they burn the fuel. They tend to operate at lower RPMs, so there's less frictional losses within the engine itself. And continued development is just ensuring that both diesel and gasoline engines become ever more efficient. The downside with burning a fuel like diesel is generally you get a lot more soot, a lot more particulates coming out of it. But that's been addressed by manufacturers with various filters. The diesel particulate filters collect those components and then burn them off. So emissions wise, a modern diesel engine is every bit as clean as a gasoline engine. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We would love you to stay tuned. We've got more videos coming up on diesel engines, the merits of them, living with them and coping with them. And please let us know in the comments what your experiences have been with diesel engines. We would love to know what you've got, what you've done to it and what your plans are for it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.